Ukrainian nurse Oksana Martinyanka is looking after 21 babies. All of them surrogates, whose parents cannot come to collect them because of the war. She and her colleagues are caring for the infants at a makeshift clinic in a residential basement on the outskirts of Kyiv. Despite the Ukrainian capital being under increased shelling by Russian forces, Martinyenka says she will not leave. We stayed here to look after them. Who will look after them if the parents aren't here? Who will help them? So we look after them. We cannot leave them behind. How could that ever be possible? They're tiny creatures. All the while, she has her own family to worry about. Her children are in the region around Sumy, a city some 200 miles east of the capital, which has been bombarded by Russian forces. It is too dangerous for Martinienka to try and reach them, so they are living with their grandmother. We wait for news every day about what is happening there. I call them to check where and how they slept at night, whether they went to a bomb shelter, whether they left it or not. Staff at the clinic said that two couples, one from Germany and one from Argentina, had made it to Kiev to unite with their surrogate children. However, it was not clear when they would be able to take them out of the country. Ukraine is an international surrogacy hub involving thousands of babies each year in normal times, according to some estimates. Many of them are taken abroad by foreigners. The infants in the Kiev clinic were born in various maternity wards in the capital, but have been brought to one place for their safety. Oksana's colleague Antonina Yemovich says that staff at the clinic are feeling the pressure. In the past we used to do shifts, we had time to rest. We don't have time to rest now, we stay with the children around the clock. We try to take short naps and swap, but there are many children here and a lot of work to do. It is tough, tough indeed. We are worried for ourselves, for our own children, for these little babies who are staying here, for everyone. It is terrifying because we are sitting here and we don't know what will happen the next minute. Kyiv has so far been spared the worst of the fighting, but the Russian military is slowly closing in on the city. Moscow calls its actions in Ukraine a special operation.